The drop third strike is a unique rule in baseball that has a unique history from the very beginning of the game, and it is quite confusing for a lot of people. A lot of people are familiar with the drop third strike being in play when first base is unoccupied, but what people don't often remember is that there's a potential option for a drop third strike being in play with two outs. Let's read the relevant rule. So the batter becomes a runner when he hits a fair ball, or when the third strike called by the umpire is not caught, providing first base is unoccupied, or first base is occupied with two out. We recently had a game where the batter had foul ball, strike one swinging, and then had strike three swinging, and the catcher dropped the ball. And in the situation, because of the previous rule, the drop third strike is in play. However, for this to work effectively, Everybody has to advance one base because it's a force situation. Bases are loaded here. So all the catcher really needs to do is pick up the ball and touch home plate. But in this situation, unfortunately the catcher lost the ball and run was able to score and everybody advanced. Remember, the pertinent situation here is that there were two outs and first base was occupied. With less than two outs, the batter is out.